All right, guys, so here we go. So today we have the big list. We're gonna look at 20 plus websites where we can make side cash, where you can make side cash, where you can make side cash. Hi, Andy Long here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Here we look at information of value for the journey. So stay tuned and let's get started. So the first one is Grover.com. We talked about that. So uh, what we have here is dog services as well as uh, cat services where we can have dog boarding, house sitting, drop-in visits, uh, doggy daycare, dog walking. So it's very getting very, very popular, especially in larger cities where you can make a lot of money doing this. And it's fun. You like dogs. You like to hang out with dogs. You like cats. You're a cat person. I'm not really a cat person. I got nothing against them, but I'm a dog guy. So I could do this with dogs. So anyway, uh, place a way you can go and make some, some money. We also looked at um, the list of cities that they're popular in. And I, I mentioned on that, that the city I'm in is a pretty big city, but it's not on the list. So if that was something I was, I was doing, um, I could quite possibly build a niche following within this this um, either dog sitting, uh, cat sitting kind of deal and actually get some customers uh, before it gets uh, saturated in the area potentially. So that's one place we could go. Another one we looked at was care.com. So care.com, you can sign up and uh, go through the process and they have ba babysitting and nanny services, special needs services, tutor and private lesson, um, uh, private lessons. So uh, a way we can use some of the um, education that we have potentially for that uh, par purpose. Child care center, senior care and nursing, housekeeping. So again, um, I used to own a janitorial company, so uh, you can make some good money doing that. Uh, In-home in daycare, uh, pet care, and errands and odd jobs. So there's a whole lot of different categories. So again, something we could get into and make some side cash. From a little more of a creative standpoint, um, Shutterstock.com is a very popular place for people to post their, their videos. They actually have some other footage and uh, video stuff that you can do in there now. And so if you're an avid photographer, uh, maybe even a professional photographer, you can post your stuff up here and again, make some side cash uh, by posting your stuff online, um, making some money um, through this digital platform. So we also looked at Flippa.com. So Flippa.com is basically a, is a website where you can go and, and you have a businesses, a lot of uh, online businesses that are that are bought and sold there. So you have um, Shopify stores and you have websites and blog sites and things of that nature. You also have um, uh, domain names as a big deal on there as well. And so people bargain hunt. They take a look. They go in there. So we talked about potentially um, if you have that skill set to to maybe make a website better, generate traffic and uh, some sales. Find one that's relatively inexpensive that's not doing too well. Uh, purchase it for a low dollar, fifty or hundred bucks. Uh, work on it, get some sales, make it better, um, and then flip it, put it back on there where it looks better and it is better for 500, 800, a thousand dollars. People are doing this. Uh, we also look at some domain names. You can buy for a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars. They had a couple of them. One was two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars on there. One was twenty-five grand. So obviously, we'd want to try to buy low and sell high. That's what would be the purpose on there. Uh, so we could do that, or we could just go out there and search and maybe find a domain name that's available out there with it that sounds good. That has that's applicable to some particular business or service, and throw it out there and resell it and make some money. Uh, then we had some uh, sites that we looked at that were like freelancer sites. So um, if you're an artist, if you are um, you have a digital background, if you're an IT person, if you're a teacher, if you um, have other uh, transcribing and writing skills, things like that, um, you can get freelance jobs. So one of those sites is clickworker.com. So that's one that's out there that's got a good rep. Um, another one that's out there is Invato.com. I still don't know if I'm saying that correct, but Invato.com. Uh, another freelance service out there, Fiverr. 
So uh, again, find the perfect freelance service for your business. So businesses are out here and they're sub subcontracting work out. So you have the, the skills that they're looking for. You're on here and they can hire you. And of course, uh, obviously when you get in here and start working on stuff, you can get a following and do multiple uh, repeat business with the same customer, obviously, if you keep them happy. So popular stuff they have listed right here, voiceovers, translation, logo design, articles and blog posts. So just an example for freelancing, uh, freelance work. We also have Upwork.com. We looked at that one. Same kind of deal. Uh, some of these websites and these um, businesses will focus on uh, maybe uh, specific niches or areas more so than another, but they're pretty broad. So here we have web development, mobile development, design, writing, uh, admin support, customer service, marketing, accounting, etc. So <clears throat> more like a consultant from the outside uh, doing this freelance work. So something we could you can do. Um, and then we have one that's a little more specific, takelessons.com. And so um, academic tutoring, computer skills, craft and hobbies, language skills, music, performing arts, visual arts. Uh, so those are all things, again, more from a freelance kind of deal uh, where you can provide lessons, takelessons.com. So you could be um, a freelance person for uh, in that respect as well. So some good, some good offerings there, um, a lot of uh, potential. Uh, so to speak. So there we go. Uh, then we also looked at babbletype.com. So this one's a little more specific market research transcription. So you can, you can sign up and basically this one's for translation and transcription. So again, something I don't have either one of those, I have enough trouble with the English language, but if you have multiple languages, you can speak uh, for translation stuff. There you go. Uh, these guys are hiring people to do that for them as well as translation uh, and transcription, transcription uh, content as well. So those are things that uh, you could do as well that. So a lot of freelance potential with those sites. So moving on from there, we looked at Teespring. So Teespring is uh, somewhere where you can go and you uh, design a logo or maybe you already have a logo um, and you can uh, basically from a small scale or a big scale, anywhere in between, you can have it printed on apparel and home decor. Uh, they have socks, phone cases, accessories, mugs. Um, so uh, they, we can click on this and let's see what happens. <clears throat> So you can do this again from a small scale or a large scale. So you can see here that we have a pop pug and we have color splash and we have born on the beach towel. So um, American flags and so uh, umbrella. So anyway, you can have some kind of logo or design and you put it on here and you can have a storefront here or obviously you can have it on uh, from from a blog uh, from a website post or something like that where you're offering these products, maybe in drop ship them, et cetera. So um, a way to make some good side cash potentially. Um, and then the obvious ones I have on here as well. So Uber, local, uh, be an Uber driver. Everybody knows about Uber, but they branched out into some other stuff. So delivering food, groceries, and a lot of other um, aspects to where you can, you can become a, um, a driver or a person that works under that Uber umbrella. So another one that is there is waiter.com, which is kind of the same thing. Very popular waiter.com, having food delivered to your house. Um, actually the uh, place, the actual area I live in, we only have one pizza delivery joint. <laughs> Nothing against Pizza Hut. We eat Pizza Hut on a regular basis, but we can't get Papa John's. We can't get other pizza delivered here. Um, there's other restaurants that are local that don't deliver, but obviously Waiter does. So just for a few bucks extra. So you guys know that it's popular, but you can sign up. A lot of people don't know you can make 20 bucks an hour potentially delivering stuff for Waiter. So a very good opportunity potentially. This is one I mentioned on uh, one of the other videos that most people know about, but a lot of times they don't think about it. I don't uh, know exactly why. I don't know a lot of people in my immediate surroundings that buy and sell stuff on eBay. They buy stuff, but I don't know a lot of people that sell. I've been selling stuff on eBay for a long time. And so as long as you're careful, you know the the uh, products that you're trying to uh, sell and you can, you can buy them at a, a reasonable rate so you can resell and make some money and just be aware of the, the, the charges that are on eBay because they're service charges, right? Uh, they're going to take a percentage. So just make sure you don't get caught up in that. 
um, and make sure your shipping costs are in line when you're when you're doing them uh, when you're uh, posting it on there. Um, but the avenues for that: garage sales, thrift sales, um, bargain hunting like that, as well as um, I have a good friend that has done um, a, a lot of good business. He's made uh, quite a few dollars. Uh, with Goodwill, going through Goodwill stores and going through in there and buying and selling stuff. Um, actually, I know a guy, that, um, the, the same guy as two guys that actually kind of share this, um, that have actually done some some good, actually buying some stuff at the Dollar Tree and reselling stuff from the Dollar Tree on eBay. So uh, if you know something, right, I have uh, I taught scuba diving lessons and had a scuba diving store. So I was, I was very familiar with dive and snorkeling equipment. And so that was the, the niche uh, for a long time that I bought and sold stuff. So I'd go to pawn shops and uh, buy and sell uh, through different avenues on eBay um, with dive equipment because I knew it. I knew what dive equipment. So if you have that knowledge base, you know some particular type of stuff, you could probably buy and sell on eBay and make a few dollars. So <clears throat> moving from there, uh, talk about affiliate marketing and a good place to kind of get your feet wet, so to speak, with affiliate marketing. Probably the easiest way to get in is with the Amazon.com. They have an affiliate program. Associates is what they call it, but you sign up as an affiliate program. And um, you post links. And if you can drive traffic to Amazon, clicking on your links, you get paid a commission. Now, the commissions aren't huge, but you know, 3 to 10% in that range somewhere um, on most stuff, depending on the exact product. And they have a list. You can get into that. But um, I just had put this, uh, for the, come to this fire stick right here. And so this is my account. So if I come up here and hit this, it shows me my link. So if I copy and paste that link in somewhere um, on a blog post, social media post, on a YouTube channel or something like that. Um, in fact, I will put this link below. And if you click on it and go buy something on Amazon, I'll make a dollar or two and I will appreciate it. <laughs> Sales pitch. So anyway, um, that's how, it's that easy to get involved. You do have to drive the traffic. So again, one of the really big YouTubers out there that is an affiliate marketing guy. That's how he got his start. He was a, a studio musician guy. Um, and so he had a blog that he was doing and he started by reviewing headphones. These headphones are good. These headphones are bad. I like these headphones. Check them out. Go to this link and check them out on Amazon. So what happens is, is um, they click on that link. They come to Amazon. And even if it was for this fire stick, and they said, you know what, I don't want a fire stick, but I did want something else. And uh, so we, um, they went somewhere else and instead of buying the fire stick, they um, bought something else. As long as they do it within a 24 hour period, you get credit for it, right? So go to today's deals um, and you know what? I didn't want the fire stick, but I ended up here and I'm gonna get this Ninja Air Fryer <laughs> instead. What a transition, right? But I got here by your, from your link, sent me here for the fire stick or for the headphones or whatever it was. And then two hours later, I ended up coming back to the Amazon account and bought this air fryer you would get commission for it because they got here by your link. So it's called a sticky cookie and it stays for 24 hours um, within it. So it's a very, it's an easy way to get involved with affiliate marketing. A lot of people are currently making a lot of money as affiliate marketer um, or an affiliate or an associate, however you, however they want to say it. Cause they, they use both terms for, for Amazon. Currently making a lot of money. have made a lot of money in the past. Okay. Um, another way, I just wanted to put this on here. Clickbank. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it, but it's clickbank.com. And so, what, what you have at ClickBank is an affiliate marketing platform where um, you uh, can go in and they basically, it, it sells um, digital products. So I'll show you right here. This is um, logged in, uh, made an account so we could do this. And so if we look here, and I'm just gonna do a search with nothing in that box, just so you can see. <clears throat> and so first thing it pops up right here, uh, popularity and it's, it's flat belly fix. So what would happen with the flat belly fix? If I wanted to promote that same kind of thing with the Amazon thing that I was mentioning that if I hit promote right here, 
um, and it generate a hop link. And so what it's going to do, it pays 75% commission, but this is my hop link. So if I, if I copy, oops, if I copy and paste this in, um, an area, a blog, social media, advertising spot, whatever it is, somebody clicks on it and they end up on that flat belly fix, um, link and they purchase it. Obviously I get a commission. And so that's how that works. So then we also talked about um, some website testing sites. So to be a tester and talked about, you know, these, these companies are going to, uh, they would need to know what the folks think. They have websites, they're big companies, they're spending tons of money out there and they say, you know what, we're going to test these sites. We're thinking about these changes or we're making these changes or this uh, particular competitor has a certain way they do it. Let's see how it works and what the folks think about it. So they, they get the folks to test it and they pay the folks. So that's how that works. So we're going to show you a couple of those. So user lytics is one of them. And most of these are pretty consistent. A 20 minute interview is about $10 for 20 minutes, right? So if we do 20, 40, 60, three in an hour, that's 30 bucks an hour. So that's kind of how that kind of averages out. And most people that talk about this, or if you read the sites, that's what they talk about. Now, to be able to get eight hours, five days a week of this kind of 30 bucks an hour thing is virtually impossible. Now they do have more than the few sites I'm going to show you here, but I know these work. I use them, four of them anyway. One of them that's on here, I have never used, okay? And they do work. And so the secret to it uh, that I found was make sure you talk, make sure you say everything. Website comes up, you start talking about the colors. The question will come up and want you to go find something. When you're clicking through and looking for it, talk about what you're thinking as you're doing it. The more you talk and the more information you share with them, the better they like it and the more uh, uh, testing opportunities you get, right? So that's how that works. So. Usualytics is one of them. Another one that is a really good one is, um, and I just I just closed it. Is um, I'll pull it back up in a second. User feel is one. I've used that one as well. Try my UI is one. This is a big one, um, and this is the one of them that I haven't used before. The Enroll app uh, site. But it has good reviews um, and it's done a little bit different, but it still basically does the same thing. Um, pays you to test websites. So there you go. That's my list, 2021 or so. And so honorable mentions would be, um, when we're thinking about this, uh, what's popular and what's being talked about a lot, is, a lot right now is selling online courses. People are looking for more digital uh, information. They want to be able to do it. Um, same reason that CBTs are so it's so popular. Uh, computer-based testing and computer-based um, information, computer-based classes, things of that nature. So, you know, any way you can get involved with that, you can make some money. Um, online courses is one. If you if you're following that that genre or that mix where you can you can do that kind of stuff, that would be a great avenue to pursue and check out. Uh, something else would be eBooks. And again, something that's talked about a lot. You can go to Amazon and you can you can uh, go through there. And it, look, guys, if you want more information about this, there's tons of it on YouTube. Um, if you add, you know, question and comment below, I'll be more than happy to give you as much information as I can. I'm just trying to make this as brief as possible. So eBooks, that's the way we can do that. So if you could write a book, you got information that people would be interested in, you can do it. It's very easy now uh, compared to what it was. You know, if you backtrack through history, depending on how far you want to go back, the harder it gets. So that's um, another way. Um, blogs. Blogs are still good. So writing a blog and that's uh, uh, blogs are a really good way you can incorporate um, affiliate marketing into your into your program if that's what you're interested in. You're sharing information, you're sharing value, and you build a following. People like it. They like you. You're sharing valuable, good information. And you say, hey man, this is what I use and why I use it. And here's the affiliate link. And that's how it happens. So that's how people make it happen. Um, and also, of course, Shopify, drop shipping stores and things of that nature. So it just depends on how involved you want to get. What I was trying to do here is just give you some easy, quick ways to do it that are not difficult, that don't take a ton of time to build followings and things of that nature. 
right? So we can go take care of dogs and cats and make some money. We can go provide babysitting services or housekeeping and make some money, side cash, side hustles. If we're a photographer, we can throw our stuff up there. If we have a good education and we have writing skills, we have math skills, we have uh, musician skills, we have building skills, whatever it is, these freelancer sites, we can um, transcribe, we have, um, we can translate, etc. We can get on these um, sites that have that are freelancing sites. Um, if we have time to investigate the possibilities and of um, buying and selling small businesses, websites, um, Shopify stores, domain names, and things of that nature on um, Flippa that we talked about, you can do that. Uh, easy stuff. It's not necessarily easy, but it's something that you don't have to spend tons of time to make some money. And that's what we're talking about. Some of the other ones up here, the Teespring store, easy to get involved with that. Not a lot of startup costs. You can do it from a very small scale and then over time scale that up. <coughs> Excuse me, Uber, waiter, again, not hard. You can do it if you need and want to start making some side cash. Uh, that's a way you can do it. Buying and selling stuff on eBay, another avenue uh, that we can do. Um, what am I forgetting? Amazon affiliate marketing, ClickBank affiliate marketing, um, and then the user testing. So just for an example, if, if we had the time, right? If we didn't have a full-time job and we need to try to create some income, maybe that could support some money, a thousand bucks a month, 200,000 bucks a month, whatever you needed to try to get going. You could do seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of these things and get them rolling and potentially generate some income. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what you're trying to do. I'm trying to help you out. So if you, if you like the content here, consider subscribing to the channel, give it a like notification bell, those type of things. I'm going to start posting three to five videos a week. If you have topics that you would like me to present, um, do some videos on, post them below. And um, as always, I appreciate your time. And we'll. I want to thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you got some value out of it, please comment below. If you have any questions, comment and ask them below. And thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.